Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Today, we're gonna make a bohemian style necklace and earring set. Not this one, but one very similar to it. So not long ago, I received a bargain bead box that was full of peacock themed beads. And I thought, you know what? I wanna use some of these beads in my boho style jewelry. So um, I went ahead and got all that out. And then I got some sari ribbon out. I have this really pretty emerald green. Isn't that gorgeous? And at first I was only gonna use that. And I have these beads here. They're not of a bargain bead box, but they're just ones I had in my stash. And I thought they went really, really well. So I pulled those out. These are actually going to go on the bottom of the earring. I'll just put this here so you can look at it. Um, and when I was looking through the bargain bead box, look at these, aren't those beautiful? And I think they're gonna go really nice with that. And then I got to thinking, you know what? I remember in this bargain bead box, there was a cool pendant that I hadn't used yet. In fact, I really hadn't done much with this particular bead box. But I thought, I want to use this. But I need to bring in some blue. So I looked through my sari ribbon and I came across this. So that brings in the blue. And some other beads, I haven't decided which ones I'm going to use, the bigger ones or the smaller ones, but we have these, and let's see, what were these? They were an agate, this is an agate, they're calling it deep green, but there's blue in there too, could use that, or I could use the bigger beads, which I think this is lapis. Um, chrysocolla and lapis. Well, lapis and chrysocolla, which I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. So maybe I'll use, the, I don't know. I don't know if I'll use the bigger one or the smaller one. Right now, though, I want to make some boho beads with this sari ribbon. They're going to look a lot like these. I have a lot, or not a lot, but several videos showing how to make those. So I'm not going to show how to make these in this video, but once I get these made, we will put the jewelry together. So let me go make some boho beads. All right, I just about have everything I need for the necklace completed. Here is the really pretty peacock lapis pendant, the back of it. And then I've got my boho beads and I'm using these lapis, see what are they calling them? They're lapis chrysocolla. And uh, I am mixing my metals. I am using this coconut colored wire that I got from BB Craft some time ago. I, I have used this a lot and I still have a lot left. Uh, but I am mixing my metals. Since I'm using this pendant that has silver tone on it, I thought, you know what? I need to use some silver bead caps to tie that in. And so I'm using these little silver bead caps. And I've made links out of everything. And then I'm just going to um, attach everything with jump rings. And I'm sort of doing a messy wrap on these loops. And I'm making sure everything is tucked in. You don't want this to scratch the wearer's neck when they're wearing it. And notice I'm keeping it on the spool as I'm working. You use less wire that way. Mm 
All right, I've got everything wired up for the necklace. Now I just got to figure out how I want to assemble it. Of course, this will be in the middle. We do know that. And then I'm going to put a couple of these here. Now, originally I was going to use these really pretty beads, but they're, they're very big. I wish they were a little bit smaller. They're just too big for this piece. And I want some type of crystally I want some bling in this and I thought about using these coin beads Wouldn't those be pretty but I don't think they're gonna really I don't like the way they look so this necklace is not gonna have any bling to it at all all right so we have the pendant we have our little beads there I think I want to do blue necks then we'll have more beads here and green. And I could do this. Maybe I'll do that. Nah, I think I like this. Oh, hard to decide. Let me get my jump rings out. I do know I'm going to need those. Hmm, those seem, they're not as dark as I want them. I'll go ahead and get my ear wires out. I'm going to need those for later. And I am going to need lobster claw, so go ahead and get those out. Here we go. Here's my jump rings. I'm using an antique brass. grab a bunch of them <laughs> all right so now to put them together oh I need I need one more little instrument there I have it I love this little tool <laughs> look how easy boing <laughs> all right so I'm gonna go ahead and you know what I think, uh, well, it might work. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Maybe. Hmm. You know what? Well, we'll see. Let's see. Sometimes when you're creating, you may run into a little bit of a, a blip. But, you know, things might work out. You just have to go ahead and put it together. If it doesn't work out, you can just take it apart. Okay. That's not going to work. That's what I thought was going to happen. See how that's turning to the side? So, plan B. I think what I'm going to do Okay, I was going to remove that. Hang on a sec. Alright, so I just removed that piece and I thought it was soldered together, it's not. So I can actually use that for another piece. So let's try this again. This time we have the circle facing in the correct direction. All right, take two.
Oops. Here we go. Let's see where, here it is. I had this all laid out, but it kind of got messed up. Make sure you hang it in the right place. All right, let's see if this is going to work. Yes, it works. See that? All right. Okay, now I'm going to decide if I want the blue. You know what I could do? It does make it really wacky different. But you could even do that. I don't think I'm going to though. Um, for some reason, I like the blue. I like the blue better, closer to that. I don't know why. I keep thinking I should like the green better, but I don't. I have a craft fair coming up here in a few weeks. And I've been trying to decide what to put in it. Normally I just put a lot of earrings, but I think I'm gonna make a bunch of these boho pieces, earrings and necklaces, and probably just have a few of them in my little craft fair display. What's your opinion on that? Do you go to craft fairs? And when you do, do you look for unusual things? Oh, this is going to be so pretty. I love the boho look. What about you? Do you like the boho look? I'm really hoping that these boho style pieces of jewelry will catch people's eyes. And it's not going to be so far out of the box that they're going to go, huh? Yeah, that's going to look good. I like how the fibers are kind of hanging down a little bit and I think with time it, it they may get more hangy down like that okay just put together Then we're going to get our chain out and we need to figure out how long we want this. I'm thinking that it's going to be, I usually like mine at 17. 18 is universal. And I'm using a Rolo chain. So I could do an 18 inch and then if somebody wanted it shorter they could just here. you know they can make it shorter by doing that so I think I'm going to go ahead and make it an 18 inch Oop, I'm going to use this one it's already open And when you close, it, close these, you want to make sure they're closed all the way. That one was not. Okay, it is now. Ooh, look how pretty. Yeah. All right. Now for the chain. So you need a ruler. And we're going to see how long this is. So it's about, by the time, when you, by the time you get the jump rings on either end, we're looking at probably about 11 inches. So if we want... 18 inches. Actually, let me show you what I like to do. Let me do it this way. And that way you can get more of an accurate measurement. I'm going to go ahead and put the chain on one side here. And then I'm going to measure 
I need another jump ring now. Where do my jump rings go? A, a clasp usually is about an inch. I know my clasp is going to be an inch. Um, but depending on what clasp you use, you, you might want to measure and make sure. So I'm going to go down here. Instead of measuring at the end, I'm going to go down an inch and start measuring. There we go, even with the jump ring. And so we have 12. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and I'm going to clip. Mm, I'm going to clip right at at the six there, which would be the eighteen. In fact, I'm not going to clip. I'm going to open it up because I think with this Rolo chain, I can open it up. And I wanted that to be on the necklace. Let me put it back on there. Close her back up. You want to make sure it's closed all the way, otherwise, your necklace will fall apart. All right, get all the stuff out of the way. And then I'm going to open this up. Put this together, close her up. All right, now we got to put the clasp on, but we got to find the middle. So we have two right there, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to pick one. And open it up, close it back. So now what I like to do, I, see how one's a little bit longer? The shorter one, I'm actually going to put the lobster claw, and then the shorter one, I mean, the longer one will have this on it. So let me go ahead and put that on there. And I made sure that the lobster claw clasp works. Make sure you do that because sometimes they don't work. And there we're done. Just want to double check this. See, I used this was longer, the chain part's longer than this one. That's why I put the lobster claw on it because you have a little bit more length there. But there is our necklace all done. Isn't that pretty? Let me try it on. Oh, yes, that looks really nice. There's no bling in there, but that's okay. Not everybody likes bling. <laughs> Plus the fact the earrings we're going to make are going to have some bling to them. So, you know, sometimes you may, 
I don't think so, but sometimes you may think you have a little bit too much bling. Can you have too much bling? Let me know your opinion down in the comment section below. And now quickly for the earrings. I'm gonna make a head pin. I've cut about three inches of wire and I'm gonna make a small loop. I'm gonna go around a couple of times. Whoops. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna just make a little golf club out of it like that by just putting the, um, bending that into a 90 degree angle. And then I'm gonna feed the end of it into that hole. And basically we're just tying a knot. Some people will consider that like a rosette. And then you put your bead on there. We're going to start to make a loop. We're going to feed our Bohemian bead link on there and just wire that around messily and tuck that end in, but make sure you're not on the crystal. You don't want to crack that bead. Okay, once it's tucked in, just hanging on an ear wire. And this is where you get your bling. Isn't that pretty? Goes very nicely. Let me put this set on for you. And there we go. We have our little bit of bling hanging off our ears. This was a really fun set to make, and I want to thank you for joining me. Y'all have a great day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo, signing out for now. Bye-bye.